All right, part two. Um, I understand that I'm watercoloring over this drawing is just defeating the purpose of me doing all the gestural mark making. Uh, so I get that what I'm doing is not the smartest, but I'm using a mixed media paper that like works with watercolor. Um, and then I'm using watercolor and then I have these like bamboo brushes that I bought through like a art kit at school. But I thought this short little clip we could talk about um, little short little things that you like about yourself. Because um, I've been thinking about this for a little bit. There's like these weird little things that I do <laughs> that if I like step back and think about it, I'm like, oh, that's like kind of cute that I do that like little, I want to say like like little quirky little things but that's kind of annoying to say that but like um I'll give an example so this makes sense um I do this thing where every time I get into my car I will not move the car until I've like have music playing um and that's just like a small little thing that I do like every time I'm in the car like um and I was trying to think of other little small things that I do that are like that. But I can't really... The only other ones that I can think of are like... I love blue things. Like anything and everything blue. I try to eat. <laughs> like ice cream, drinks, candy. Like I just love blue. <laughs> and someone... I read something that was like... Um, like the color... Bl like blue just like has its own flavor. I don't know. But I love blue. That's also my favorite color too. It was like... Um, light blue like indigo aqua blue is my favorite um but like little things like that that I'm like oh that's like kind of cute that I do that <laughs> this sounds dumb but um to me that I like think about shit like that because all I'm doing is thinking 24 7 of every day but um there was another little one that I did that I I forgot what it was and I was gonna say that like <laughs> I'm very spastic, like, I just have random moments of the day where I just, like, yell or scream or sing or do something like that, but I do that, like, multiple times. I mean, it's probably not good that I'm very stir-crazy and cooped up right now, but this, that side of me is probably way <laughs> more crazy than normal. But think about some, like, little things that you realize that, like, you do and not very many of your friends do or, like, just little unique things that you do that I think are really cute. I also think another thing that I do is that whenever there's, like, a situation or, like, a problem that's happening in my life, I always think of, like, plan A, B, and C before anything's even happened, which is actually kind of a good thing to think about, but sometimes I'm like, is this, like, anxiety? Or, like, why am I thinking like this? Like, sometimes if I'm driving my car, I'm like, okay, if I get a flat tire plan a plan b plan c who am i gonna call like all this stuff i think of like and then the other day i was thinking about it when i was driving i was like oh i'm like really grateful that i have that mindset because some people don't think ahead at all and they just like do shit i don't know i feel like i'm a very like stick to the plan type of person and i can never just willy-nilly do stuff when I'm in, like, a safe, good environment with good people, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll do whatever because I'm fine. But I can never just, like, go on a trip and just, like, not plan it out. I don't know. I'm a big planner, and I, like, think through everything. I'm also a very – I'm a feeler. Like, I just have to make sure the situation feels right. But I don't know. This is just a short little clip. I just thought I'd ask you people what you think – whoever listens to these. these this one's short so if you're listening to this one go listen to the other ones because i think the other ones are way more valuable in the sense of like advice that i give but i did just want to like talk about something a little short and sweet um but yeah just jot down some like little things that you like think about or like do daily or like it's kind of like a routine or like ritual that like not kind of ritual that you do that you don't realize it's kind of a little cute and <laughs> kind of different. I feel like hidden aspects like that are the ones that really 
help you evolve your self-love. And I think it helps you create a more positive dialogue that you have of yourself instead of being like, oh, that's an annoying trait that I have. Think of it as like, oh, that's a very unique trait that I have. I don't know, just switching the dialogue I think is a, that's a really good um, stem into some self-love. I just preach self-love 24-7 as much as I can because I just think that I'm a very hopeless romantic and I uh, know that the cheesy quote of just like loving yourself before you can love someone else is like very valid and I think that that's my entire life I've um kind of gone off that and just like known that I seeked love through other people for such a long time that I'm like no you gotta find it within dude and then you can bring it out into the world whether it be romantic or platonic or whatever it is and I just think that's a good little road map into self-love and um your journey and your discovery and damn I don't even know how long it takes you know like I don't think there I think with self-love there's not really like a specific point you get to it's just constantly going and going and constantly learning and growing which is just such a dope concept um I'll probably get more in depth about this in like a later video. I don't even know what to call these like episodes, videos, because it's not a podcast, but it's like it is a video form. I don't know what to really call what these are, but this one's a short little sweet one. And this kind of gives you a little taste of what I talk about in my other ones. So if you haven't, go check out my other ones. My first one's kind of revolved around me... (laughs) <laughs> I guess they're all kind of revolved around me, but, like, in a different sense. Um, me and, like, my art journey and stuff like that, and then... I don't even remember. See? I'm, like, bad. I don't even remember my second one. My second one's just kind of, like, more of my journey and, like, me growing and who I am. And then this one quarantine and then this one thank you for listening and watching hope you have a good day